Hey, so welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Facebook advert to generate leads. So if you haven't yet seen the previous video, make sure you go back and watch it because in the previous video, I show you how to create a conversion so you can track any leads uh, from people that visit your lead generation landing page. In this example, we're going to be using this page. And again, make sure you have a thank you page as well. So in the previous video, I show you how to set up uh, the conversion uh, tracking thing so that you can actually track what people become uh, conversions. And that's really important for Facebook because you need to tell Facebook who becomes a conversion so that they can help optimize your adverts to show your advert to more of the people that are more likely to convert into a lead. So once you've done all that, the next step is to create the advert. So um, when you're in your Facebook business manager, um, click on create advert. So let's just go through the steps to, to do that. So what we want to do now is we want to create a lead generation campaign. So um, there's really two main ways to do this. The first way is you can use um, this feature here, which is uh, called lead generation. And uh, the way that this works is you won't need any landing page or anything like that. Uh, Facebook will show a form where people can just enter their name, their email or their phone or whatever it is that you want to get from them. And that's what will count as a lead. So Facebook will actually uh, generate the information themselves, uh, generate the form and the landing page themselves. And people, without even leaving Facebook, that you can actually capture the information. Uh, the other way to do that is through conversion. So this is what we're going to be doing in this example. This is actually the most popular method of doing this, where we send people to a landing page, such as this one, and then we track how many of those people will then convert into a lead by visiting the thank you page. So this is what we're going to do in this example. So let's click on conversions. And we're also going to have another video a bit later on on how to do uh, lead generation through this method. Uh, but for now, let's just do conversions. Um, if you're wondering what one to do, um, quite simply, if you have a landing page, um, you can just do conversions, um, because usually you can get a lot of information on a landing page. If you don't yet have a landing page, and you maybe want to test what works or what might not work, you can just use lead conversions. And uh, it's also worth testing both just to see what one you get better results because each audience is going to react differently depending if they go to a landing page or if they go to uh, just a form on Facebook. So you need to just test and see what one works better. It doesn't matter too much what you do. Uh, my suggestion right now is if you have a landing page, just use conversions. If you don't, use lead generation. They both work in a very sort of similar way. But anyway, so yeah, as I was saying, in this example, we're going to use conversions. So let's uh, continue. So once that uh, has loaded up, we can then, under website, we can then choose what we want to count as a conversion. So what we want, um, we want to select the conversion that we've already created, which was a lead. So this uh, conversion that I created previously in the previous video will tell Facebook if anyone from this page visits this page. Well, actually, it will tell Facebook if anyone visits this page from the advert that we are creating. Um, so that's what we are going to be tracking. So I'm going to select that there. We can see that it's green, which means it's, it's tracking things correctly. Um, and then we can move on to the audience and we can start you know, choosing who we want to target. Now, um, we've already created some audiences before. So um, you can go back and watch those videos on how we did that, how we created a, a targeted audience on Facebook. And uh, we can target a cold audience or we can um, later on also target a warm audience. So I'm going to show you how you can do both. Uh, and for now, just for the sake of getting this up and running, I'm going to target the cold audience. But um, I'm also going to do some testing and see how the advert performs with a warm audience as well. And I'll show you how we can do that. But for now, let's select the cold audience. So I can select that here. So this is accountants in the United Kingdom. So we've got about a reach of 11,000 people. So that's uh, how many people we're going to be reaching out. So we'll see from those 11,000 people how many we can get to become uh, leads. And uh, this is literally brand new stuff. We haven't done this before. Um, so I have no idea what kind of results we're going to get. But uh, the reason I'm doing it like this is so that you can actually see uh, the process that, that we go through when doing this for our clients so that you can actually see what you need to be looking at and how it actually works. So this is all going to be very real data and you can actually see behind the scenes everything that's happening and everything that we're doing, which is really cool. So, uh, so the next step, because this is a lead generation campaign, um, I'm actually going to leave it on automatic placements. If I wanted to get maybe more engagement or people liking on a post, or something like that, I might deselect the rest and just focus on the Facebook newsfeed. 
uh, but for now um, I actually want to just get people to become a lead so I'm going to leave automatic placements for now um, in the future we might do some test testing and see what works better if we place it at certain uh, places or certain channels but for now I'm going to leave it up to Facebook to um, basically get our advert in front of as many people as possible so that we can uh, generate as many leads as possible um, so so that's cool then we have the daily bud budget so for the daily budget I am going to select uh, just five pounds a day so I'm just going to leave it like that um, and then we can see we optimize an advert for conversions this is really important let me just close that so optimizing the advert for conversions will basically tell Facebook whenever someone converts Facebook will look at their demographics and it will start to show the advert to more of those kind of people so from these 11,000 people there's going to be groups of those people that uh, you know have similar demographics so once someone from this 11,000 people converts Facebook will have that data and then they'll be able to show more of those adverts to the same kind of people so Facebook will help you optimize your adverts for you and they do this automatically which is really cool um, because you don't have to worry too much uh, about you know continually making sure that your adverts get seen in front of the right people from everyone in your reach uh, so, so that's really cool and definitely something that's uh, recommended that you that you do so definitely select conversions in, in this case if you are doing a lead generation campaign and then we want the conversion window so, um, so, so this is how many days after someone clicks on an advert uh, will they uh, come up as a lead if they then visit this page so um, this is pretty much up to you you can maybe just do one day after clicking I just prefer to leave it after seven days after clicking was maybe someone will go to a landing page they might not convert at that time but then they might you know go to the website or see another blog post or see something else that we share on social media which takes them to the same page and then they might decide to uh, to actually click on it and uh, in a way that Facebook advert would have helped them do that so I'm gonna leave a seven day uh, a seven day conversion window so if anyone clicks on the advert within seven days and then goes to the thank you page they will show up as elite so I'm going to leave that as that is for the bid you can uh, just leave that as automatic um, you can leave it as impression as well so that's absolutely fine uh, all of this is pretty much fine um, I wouldn't change it too much um, the only thing I'm going to change here is the advert set I'm just going to give it a name so that I remember legion cold UK accountant audience so I remember what it's called uh, so that's cool so let's continue and then we can start to create the advert so you've probably already seen uh, how we've created uh, an advert before um, so in the next video I'm just going to go through in a bit more detail uh, what you need to do to to get your advert looking good uh, especially when it comes to doing a lead generation campaign so check out the, the next video and we'll show you how to create an advert